I'm Alana Red, and thanks for clicking on this video. So it's like Sunday evening at about, I don't know, 5.30 and I'm about more than one bottle of wine in. I believe this is my first glass of the second bottle. And I thought it would be fun to do a wine induced movie review. I basically just got done watching all of the Twilight movies. At the time, I didn't know I wanted to torture myself, but really I wanted to have some sort of reminiscence, nostalgia of my childhood in high school because I loved the books. And I think at the time I wanted to love the movies when everyone else was calling them trash. So I rewatched them to see if they were correct or if I was correct or who was correct or maybe there was a third party person who was correct. I don't know, but I watched them and I have some thoughts and I thought I would share this lovely information with you all. To get this kicked off right, let's start off with the first movie and that is Twilight itself. First off, what really got me when I was watching this first movie was the fact that Bella meets this guy who's very mysterious and attractive and whatever. I don't know about y'all, but Robert Pattinson just doesn't do it for me, but I get he's attracted to other people, but not me. So I never understood why he was chosen for Edward, but you know, that's, that's a completely different conversation that we can have a different day. She met Edward in like March. She moved to a new high school and she meets him in a biology class where like he literally looks constipated in it, right? And then she's like, ooh, I can't stop thinking about this guy. Oh. And then no joke, like three months later, three months, three, three months later, she's like, I want to marry this guy and I want to become a vampire for the rest of my life. Three months as like a 17 year old teenager. Who, what, no. It takes me three months to decide if I'm going to get a haircut and she's going to decide who she's going to marry and fall in love with and spend more than the rest of her life with. I don't know about that one. I think the only saving grace for this movie is the soundtrack. It has a stellar soundtrack. It, like the soundtrack is so bomb. If it didn't have this soundtrack, I would probably rank all of these movies, not just Twilight, but all of them as like below trash. What is below trash? Please let me know down in the comments below. So moving on to the second movie of the series, New Moon. If you didn't make it past Twilight, the first movie, New Moon was basically where Edward broke up with her and she had to deal with life without Edward. I just have a few questions. One of them is, did Bella never learn stranger danger? Because she gets on the back of like a rando's motorcycle and I just think that is completely bizarre. And then second of all, Jessica, Anna Kendrick's character in Vampire Diaries is by far the most sane person on, in the entire series. Like. She's the only one that like is wondering like, none of this makes sense. Why are you doing that? Hmm, doesn't sound like a good plan to me. And then Bella is just running through a horde of people. I don't even know if horde's the right word. Um, maybe horde's the right word. A crowd, crowd is probably better. Crowd makes more sense. A crowd of people and in a place that she's never been and she makes it just in time to save Edward's life. I don't know, man. It's all just a bit corny to me, don't you think? I would rank probably, a, no, second to lowest. My lowest movie of them all, Eclipse, number three. Eclipse is the most toxic relationship movie I think I have 
ever seen in my entire life. The entire time I was watching that movie, I was sitting here thinking, what in the world? What is happening here? This is not real life. Not that, the, I mean, so clearly Twilight is fiction, but we should have a sense of reality within the fiction, even though it's not. Catch my drift? So, in the movie though, at one point there's gonna be a heated battle and Edward is like, oh, we're gonna spend this night together. It's gonna be beautiful and whatever. And he proposes to Bella and Bella says, yes. Yay! Literally the next day, Jacob, her friend that she hangs out with and gets to know more and the shirtless guy and whatnot, the wolf, the werewolf guy, he is in love with Bella. Bella knows it and Bella's like I don't really have those feelings for you and Edward knows because Edward can read minds and he knows that Jacob loves Bella. Bella starts making out with Jacob literally a day or two days later after Edward proposes to her and she says yes. I don't know a single man in the entire world, well maybe I do, I haven't met all of the men, that would be okay with their fiance going and making out with another guy that clearly has feelings with her that she might have feelings for him. I personally wouldn't be okay with that. Why on earth I thought this made any sense when I was a teenager blows my mind. The last of the videos, movies, if you will, is Breaking Dawn, which they broke into two parts. My honest opinion of this is they broke it into two parts because Harry Potter just did it and it was extremely successful. But my whole thought is I did not need to see more than four hours of Breaking Dawn. I had already read the 800 page book and I'm pretty sure I did it in under four hours. I didn't, I didn't, I can tell you that, but I, I, I didn't. Something that I think is probably an extremely unpopular opinion, which I know from the internet that everyone loved it was the ending fight scene. It went against the entire book series itself. That's not how it went in the books whatsoever. I just didn't need to see like animals die. And that's what you saw during that fight. So many werewolves and I know they're werewolves and they're people and whatever, but the way that they, they showed the emotions and the dogs dying was really sad. And that's what really pushed Breaking Dawn down on the list for me. So if you're a teenager and you're watching this, I remember being at that age and being like, I want to be in love with a vampire. That's not realistic. I just want you all to know out there that you can do better than Edward or Jacob. All I'm saying is that I used to think the entire Twilight movie franchise was literally the best in the entire world. And it's not. There's much better out there. And you just need to find it. But that's what I'm here for, to give you some movie reviews. So anyways, I'm gonna go back to enjoying my Sunday of drinking some wine and playing Sims. I hope you have a fabulous week. And if you want to subscribe to this channel to find out more about the videos and whatever I put out, then please do that and please go ahead and like this video. And so I will see you all next time. Bye.